Do we are ready for the wonderful run Silent Hill Home coming by Starwind. Starwind, feel free to take it away. Silent Hill Home coming by Starwind. Starwind, feel free to take it away. You were, but that's okay. <laughs> it is going very well. Feel free to get started. No, I, I I think you should be good. Okay, no, I'm just saying on on Discord that they said they can't hear me. Oh yeah, I th I think you're ready. I think you're um, live right now. Okay, are we good? Okay. <laughs> all right. So sorry about that. No, it's all good. It's all good. I just wanted I wanted to be sure. All right. So uh, first things first. Uh, I know everyone is being affected by COVID right now. It's a terrible thing. Uh, that's going on um, uh, where I live. I do have a friend that's currently in the hospital, and uh, she was recently intubated. But uh, as of today, we had good news saying that she is actually getting better. But I am going to dedicate this run to her. So Jess, uh, get better soon. Okay. All right. The run won't start until after this really long and annoying cutscene. Also, this game gets incredibly loud <laughs> during cutscenes, so I apologize in advance. Also, just making sure we are did meet that pyramid head helmet incentive, so are we set up for that? Oh, yes. See, I here's, here's the thing, is I was talking about that, but I was muted two times, so uh, uh, yes, we I did pick the pyramid head helmet. We are good to go. Fantastic. I want to know what they're doing. It's spooky. Hey, where are you taking me? No. Hey. No. So, uh, for people that don't know about Homecoming, uh, besides it being not the best Silent Hill game in the world, because it really isn't, hey, this game, me? however, is like the best hey, uh, speed game in terms of Silent no. Hill games, in my opinion. A lot of people agree. Where uh, this game is incredibly broken. Uh, the run is only going to be like, maybe, like I said, this it's like 35 minutes. We're going to try to shoot underneath that. Hey, wait. But, oh man, this game is hilariously broken. Sadly, not for the first like eight minutes. We have to play vanilla, which is fine. And there we are with our big stupid helmet. Uh, when I was saying earlier, clips on clips, not only will I be clipping through walls to skip large portions of the game, uh, my helmet will also constantly be clipping through my body. So, uh, time will start in three, two, one, go. And here's our pro tag uh, for the next 30 or so minutes. This is Alex Shepard. Uh, Alex Shepard, sadly, is having a nightmare right now, having a bad time. We actually are in Alcamilla Hospital, one of the more iconic locations in the Silent Hill series. Josh, Josh, is that you? And we're trying to find our little brother Josh, who's right behind this door. He shouldn't be that much of a hassle to get right. He's not going to just run away for no reason. Josh, where are you going? I think he's running away because uh, there's a monster behind him. I mean, would you run away from that? Some dude with a big spiky helmet? Because I, I totally Josh. would. 
so throughout the run, you're going to see me do little minor optimizations. Uh, I'm going to like roll into cutscenes. That way, I just get moved forward a little bit. But other than that, that's like the most minor tech you'll see. The biggest tech, of course, is uh, clipping through walls. Uh, Shoutouts to the Silent Hill movie. Uh, this pretty much the Silent Hill movie happened, and then this game happened, and they were like the, the creators of the game were like they watched the movie, they never played any of the games. Well, that may not be a hundred percent true. Uh, that's what I personally believe. Uh, Shoutouts to sexy nurses because why not? I guess because the movie did it. I guess we can put it in a game. I mean, Ecdysis, in his run, explained how nurses in that game are legs on legs. And in this game, it's honestly a lot more boring. But, like traditional Silent Hill games, enemies are attracted to light. So when we get to an area with nurses, I'm going to turn off my flashlight. Ooh, how did he even fit that thing in there? Jeez. Big spiky helmet boy. So a lo lot of unskippable cutscenes in this area. This is just kind of introducing a new enemy. This is the swarm. So the swarm are just these little buggos. Uh, they're kind of annoying. They attach to you. You have to press a button to get to pull them off, and it's really annoying because if they stay last on you, you lose a bunch of health. It's like slowly starts draining your health. Uh, but shoutouts to Shumbler, one of the newer Homecoming runners, figured out this little trick. Used to, not getting a bug attached to you was, like, optimal, because you would lose time, like, when the bug attached you, lose, like, fractions of a second. But Shubbler figured out that if we come over here and press A and dodge, we kind of skip the cutscene of us jumping off that ledge. And at the same time, the bug explodes. Do we have time for a quick donation? Oh, of course. Go for it. All right, we have $10 from Silver Sable, who says, For my friend Jess fighting COVID-19 in CCU right now. Shoutouts to Jess and my good, good friend Silver Sable. Get out of my way, nurse. Jeez. All righty. And we're coming up to another cutscene, but this one's a little bit different. Uh, first things first, I'm going to roll into the door. Sure. Usually you want to roll to the left, but since the pyramid helmet is really, really big, it's going to make this cutscene funny at a couple of spots. This is also the first uh, spot where we have a dialogue selection. We can either be, be really nice to Josh or we can be really mean to Josh, but being nice is just quicker. Yes, pyramid head. So we should get a close-up of just blackness because Pyramid Head's helmet is so big. Oh, there it is. You just kind of can see it. <laughs> Alrighty. Boop. So this area is almost clear. Like I said, we can't do any clips until we get a pistol. Hey, there's Robbie just kind of uh, precariously kind of coming out of that hole and being dragged into the hole now. Uh, first thing I would also, I would do, just like Alex, is just, you know, reach my hand in there, into the unknown, hopefully nothing grabs me. <laughs> As the helmet, what's up? Real quick, I want to say we got a quick $5 donation from TP Speed, who says all aboard the $5 Drake Percent train, now leaving the station, but that has actually uh, been fulfilled, because we got a $170 donation Yo. from the Prince. Who says Drake must die? Put it all towards getting Drake percent. And with that, we have met our 007 Nightfire Drake percent run incentive. So you guys are going to be seeing that later on. Yo, you know runners get a lot of hype. You know, yeah, we're helping you know get, provide you guys entertainment, but you guys are the real stars donating money for such an awesome cause, and you're going to get more content out of it too. So that, thank you so much for all your donations and keep them coming. You guys have been great so far, and along with that, um, Save Merle is currently winning by $448 in comparison to 222 so there is still a little bit of time to get Kill Merle, but if you want it, you're going to have to act fast and act quickly. Come on, everybody. You you really want to see Snake on t on the on a, a snow scooter 
with Meryl on the back? Come on, you want to see Otacon, right? I would want to see Otacon. That's just me. So right here we have an unskippable cutscene uh, where Pyramid Head has a, a big sword and pokes us. But if we have the helmet, maybe that's why he's chasing us. He that's wants true. his helmet back. Shouts to Travis Grady. That is uh, the driver right there. Is the that was the main protagonist of Sound Hill Origins, another Western Sound Hill game that a lot of people don't want to talk about. The Western games are not particularly fond uh, fond of. One thing this game has going for it is amazing music, enemy design, and you can clip through walls. That's about it. So, the f majority of this game, I would say 60% of it, takes place in the town of Shepherd's Glen, named after our main uh, character, Alex Shepherd. This is a little town across Toluca Lake. And sadly, you know, when you play a Silent Hill game, it's like, oh, you just want to be in Silent Hill, but no, we're, we're stuck here. But thanks to clipping, I'm going to get us to Silent Hill really quick. We're only going to spend about... Oh, ten minutes or so in Shepherd's Glen. Uh, so right now we're heading to our house. This is where we're going to be able to get a New Game Plus weapon. This is what makes New Game Plus one of the more popular categories. Uh, you can immediately get a pistol, which it's a, a the laser pistol. The laser pistol does a million damage, but since it is pistol, we can start doing clips. If we were doing just any percent New Game, we'd have to... You know, kind of keep playing the game vanilla for about 15 minutes until we get the regular pistol. And after that, it's just it's just boring. It's, just, it's not as good. So, I'm going to start clipping. I'm going to kind of explain it. It's a little weird. So, when you aim with Alex, he gets pushed forward. This causes him to slowly get pushed into a wall. So, right here, I'm clipping into the door frame, as you can see. And... I should get spit out any second now. It's a slow pull, which... Getting it that quick is fine. Getting a slow pull is just fine, too. And just like that, we skipped this door, and going through this door, guess what? We just skipped 60% of the game. We skipped, like, two bosses, like, three dungeons. Done. Just by clipping through one wall. The, the magic of Pyramid Head as my arm clips through my own helmet. All right, and then time for everybody's favorite thing in the world, slide puzzles. Not only uh, does Sound Hill have games have great puzzles, uh, this game prominently features a stupid slide puzzle. This game has bad puzzles. This is what I'm trying to get at. This game sucks. <laughs> and then instead of going back downstairs to the uh, through that load door, I'm just going to clip right here. There we go. And I'm just going to kind of pop through the floor and boop, there we go. I'm down here again. And now we are in the first, I guess, real dungeon. This is the Nightmare Shepherd House. Uh, primary objective here is just going to be solving four puzzles, four puzzle rooms. And after that, we will be heading to Silent Hill. Uh, there are a couple of clips here. None of them too difficult. The first clip that we did, the one of the attic door, is uh, considered one of the harder clips to do in the game. I would say it's probably the second hardest. But, for the most part, we're just going to be collecting knives, collecting masks, and solving some puzzles. So, it's a good time for donations if we have any, or if you want to plug anything, feel free. Of course. Unfortunately, we do not have any uh, donations at the moment, but if you guys are interested in seeing a wonderful incentive uh, tomorrow during our runs, we have a controller cam for Steel Battalion, which is going to be a game that uses a controller with 33 buttons, type switches, three controls, and two joysticks. And I have to admit, I really, really want to see how they are able to do that. So if you want to see that, make sure to get your donations in for that. We are currently at 20 dollars out of the 500 needed but you do have a bunch of time it is for tomorrow's runs but still you want to get it in now and you know get a little safety net to get there all i want to say is, is if you never want, if anyone's if no one's ever seen steel battalion that game is insane the like like they were explaining 
the controller is massive. It's 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 so big. Uh, back in the day when I worked at GameStop, I had a one guy that would always come in and be like, "Hey man, do you have a steel battalion controller?" I was like, "No." And even if we did, they sold it for like three hundred dollars used. It's it, it's a massive controller, and you definitely want to see that game played how it's supposed to be played. Alrighty, so now we're in the attic. It's a little different now. A bunch of pipes everywhere. Everything's rusty. Collecting some metals, and we're just gonna put these metals on this jacket in a specific order. Like I said, the puzzles in this game aren't very riveting. They're uh, very, very, very lackluster. And then right here, we're just gonna start the clip right here. No, don't you push me out. Jerk. And bloop. Now we're back on the stairs again. Easy peasy. So what's really crazy about this dungeon, every, the switch that I, I keep pulling with this lever... Uh, every time I pull this lever, it's actually loading the next room. So, uh, if I would, if I wanted to clip into another room without pulling that lever, that room won't even load, which makes it very, very hard to uh, do anything. Uh, you can still navigate everything and interact with everything, but you, you're just you're flying blind. All right, that puzzle was put the Robbie Rabbit with where the glowing light was. That's yeah, mm -hmm. that's about it. I just have one more puzzle to go, and that is putting all these knives downstairs inside, uh, like on a wall and inside a carcass. So, sadly, gotta watch this stupid cutscene one more time. Uh, there is a bug that uh, I ended up killing earlier, and we could have. You can do the whole like. I could pull a lever and then uh, dodge or pull or try to pull the bug off at the same time and pull the lever, but sadly you are actually stuck and you can't move. It would be great if we were able to skip one of the lever pulling segments, but we just can't. Uh, and here we go. Shoutouts to the omelet, that big yellow square. That's what we like to call it. At least that's what uh, UFO Techie calls it. And I think it's hilarious, so I call it the omelet as well. Alright, now we have all these swords, and blades, and knives, and that's it. That's the Nightmare Shepherd House. Just need to go upstairs and open the door. Uh, besides getting uh, doing this clip to get down here a lot quicker, uh, it actually uh, allows us to skip one of these enemies right here. So this guy's going to spawn behind us. I'll show him off. Yeah, we don't have to deal with that guy. Just kind <laughs> of walk past him. Easy peasy. And that's the Nightmare Shepherd House. Now we're actually going to be heading to Silent Hill. Sadly, not, for some reason, not all the cutscenes will show off the costumes, and this is one of them. Like, if it's a uh, actual, like, cutscene, uh, it won't show anything. But if it's, like, an in-game cutscene, it'll show the uh, outfits. This is a uh, pre-rendered. And once again, real quick, we can talk again about Metal Gear Solid Save or Kill Merle. That's going to be ending at the end of this run. Uh, I believe actually uh, just a few minutes into the Metal Gear Solid run. So not a whole lot of time left. It is still uh, in Save Merle's advantage, $448 for that. Whereas Kill Merle is currently at $222. So if you want to decide how uh, Snake escapes either with Otacon or Merle, make sure to get your donations in now because it looks like it's going to be going towards saving Merle, but you never know, there could be a last minute snipe to change things up. The correct answer is Otacon, you fools. It's not Merle, it's Otacon. He's the king of anime, why wouldn't you want that? Alright, so we're finally in Silent Hill. And we're not going to be on the streets uh, pretty much at all. This is the only time you're going to see the streets of Silent Hill, which doesn't really show any of the traditional locations. This is just like a really small section of it. Uh, we're going to be heading to the penitentiary where we're going to be doing a bunch of clips to skip a bunch of stuff. And we're also going to be doing a clip to get into the penitentiary. If we don't, uh, if, if we 
weren't able to do the clip, we'd have to uh, find a way to turn off the electricity to the gate, fight a bunch of order soldiers, and it's the... Uh, no, I, I don't, I don't want to do that. That's boring. Wheeler. This is a speed run. We're trying to go fast. Wheeler, come in. So we're just gonna go to this next area. This uh, this area, it's it's really silly. Like you would think they could just load this next area just already, but no, this area needs a load door. It's it's really silly. All these other games are able to load Silent Hill with no problems, but no, nope. New Age fandangled technology can't do it. And nice, yo. Who says having the pyramid helmet on makes clips harder? That is a lie. It's making my life way easy right now. Uh, so right there, uh, I, sh I should explain that. So that wasn't that was a example of a kind of a different clip. I'm inside the prison. I started with the pistol and I had to switch to the shotgun. So because uh, when I started when I when you start the clip and you go all the way through the wall, uh, Alex will get stuck, and the only way he can get out of the wall is by switching to the shotgun because when you switch to the shotgun and aim your hitbox gets drastically changed so we aim with the shotgun and turn into the wall and it'll push us out okay so this is uh this area is again just gonna be a little bit of just running around trying to get to wheeler uh if you don't we don't know who wheeler really is because uh we skipped a bunch of uh exposition uh, Wheeler is basically uh, the sheriff of the town of Shepherd's Glen, and he got caught, and we're trying to save him, because he's going to help us uh, navigate this area, and there's some order soldiers, and as you heard right there, their death grunts of them are just absolutely hilarious, they just kind of, whoever did that noise, they just kind of got really close to the microphone and were just making mm, noises. Can you get out of my way, please? I will shoot laser beams. Good job. Now get me out of here. There's a switch over there. Hey, nice work back there. All right. Kill that thing. That thing's called a Siam. They are big and stupid and dumb. That's all you need to know. Got it. Now we're trying to beat the fastest man in the West, and that is Wheeler. If we get in front of him, we can save ten seconds, but he is... Oh, he's too fast. We can't get in front of him. Can we get in front of him? No. No. It was close. Wheeler is just too fast, but... We can get in front of him right here. He doesn't save a bunch of time, but we can't get in front of him. No, I'm screwing up my movement. Why? I'm so bad. No, he's gonna win. You win this time, Wheeler. That's fine. I am, however, going to roll into Wheeler's face right here. Oh, nope. I didn't do it. You can actually roll... Before the cutscene yes, trigger, and it'll change Alex's position in the cutscene. So I'm sad I messed that up because I can actually roll and be inside Wheeler's uh, uh, body. It's pretty funny. Alright, so we now have access to these gates, so we can go to the other parts of the prison. Uh, the prison has this really stupid wire puzzle that you'd have to do, but we're gonna do two clips and just skip the whole thing. So, first clip's right here, which, why am I getting everything so quick, my goodness. Oh, uh, I have a little bit of resistance. Uh, I don't know, oh, yep, nope, that's gonna work, cool. So now we're on top of this table, and we're just gonna do this thing called gun walking. That's where I aim a bunch of times and just move forward. And then we need to get inside this little brick tube. We're just gonna clip right on top of it. All right, Wheeler, I made it in. So the game thinks we're inside this tube right now, which is the end of the penitentiary. And I always gotta show this off in marathon runs. See this gun right here? Yeah, that's a gun. You pretty sure you can grab that gun if you actually can get to it. If you can find a way to get to that gun, um, I will give you a hundred dollars. Uh, that bounty has been opened up for about <laughs> five, maybe four or five years now. <laughs> I want to give people money, but <laughs> it's it's just too hard. All right, now we're in the Nightmare Penitentiary. And right here is actually the most competent puzzle in the entire game. It's very... Uh, it's, it's a... 
it's not really like a big uh, head thinker, but it's it, it definitely deserves some credit. It's nowhere near like Silent Hill 2 and 3 puzzle difficulty. What's crazy is uh, when the Western games uh, were released, they got rid of puzzle difficulty, which was sad because it was one of the best things about the Silent Hill series. It was one of the main reasons that attracted me when I was uh, playing these games. It's like, oh, I can make things harder for myself? Neat. But uh, puzzle difficulty actually never came back until Downpour. And even then, the downpour puzzle difficulty is fodder. It, it's like, okay, here's this puzzle on the wall. Or, th or th there's a number on the wall, and you can't see one of the digits. you got to figure that out. And then you go to hard difficulty on puzzle mode, and, and like two digits are removed. It's like, oh boy, that's so hard. It's not as fun. Right, these are uh, needlers, a.k.a. Edward Scissor Legs. We're going to let Wheeler shoot some of them, and then I'm going to come up from behind and get that guy. The, those guys like to block bullets, so you want to get behind them and shoot them. Alright, we're coming up to what would be the third boss, but it's the first boss of the run. This is Asphyxia. Judge Holloway. And here she is in all of her glory. So Asphyxia kind of looks and slash reminds you of probably the Human Centipede. Uh, fun fact though, this game actually predates the Human Centipede. So, uh, who copied it from who? I wonder. So, well, the I, I wish nobody copied that from anybody. <laughs> I, I totally agree, 100%. <laughs> yeah. So, the boss fights are not going to be uh, as interesting as people would want. Because, you know, I have a broken weapon. I just have to shoot. I don't have to really have any kind of strategy. Uh, which I can see that be kind of a visual deterrent for some people. But the main, the main focus of this game is the clips. Like, we are in the last... We, we're 80% of the gun done with the game. We're like in the last bit. We have two dungeons left and we're done. This area is the church. The church is notorious for being the run killer. There's going to be three clips that we're going to do here. Uh, church 3, as we like to call it, is the one that likes to give people the most problems. But I was doing runs last night of this, and this clip right here actually did something that I've never seen happen. I actually fell to the floor and died. But I'm not going to let that happen today. No thank you. And there we go, that's the first one. Do a little shotgun turn to get out of there. Alex is gonna phase warp his hand through the, uh, the helmet. What's funny is, uh, Alex is supposed to have a radio, but since we never picked it up, he's there's, there's just no radio there. He's hearing voices in his head. And come on now. So this clip is a little annoying because there's a pillar, there's a gate... And there's two walls that we're trying to get through. And... Lame. Okay. So we're kind of stuck in the wall. I can get us out. Just going to just take some, uh... Some fadangling. Let's get inside the gate. Usually have a better chance of getting out that way. There we go. And we're through that gate. And finally, good old church three. We're trying to clip right here and go through this little, like, desk. And we got it first try. I love, hate this game so much. Goodness. So that skips the whole church. It skips this segment where we go into, like, a confessional. And Alex's dad is in there. And we either forgive him uh, or we don't. Uh, Alex's dad is not a nice person. But since we skipped that whole uh, sequence, it automatically uh, defaults it to we didn't forgive him. Right there, we're going to do a little gun walking so I can get myself back in bounds. And that's the church. We just completely skipped it. <laughs> and we're going to... Sadly, I don't know how he got the pyramid head helmet inside that little costume. But we have to put this on to get past these uh, pipes shooting steam. Uh, if you try to walk through them, you just take a bunch of damage. Uh, what's really uh, crazy is at the very end of it, of the, uh, the pipes, where the last pipe shooting steam, no matter how much health that you have, if you're like health boosting to get through it, 
uh, it'll just instant kill you every time. Also, uh, if you have a, if you're sensitive to violence, maybe not look at the screen right now. Who's gonna win, Pyramid Head or a drill? That drill is already going in. Th ah, stop it! And shoutouts to the best line in the game. There we go. Beautiful. Alright. So this is the lair, the underground lair. We got all of our weapons taken away. And yes, he is running with a drill wound in his leg. Like nothing ever e like nothing ever happened to him. Oh, I did not equip the dagger. I need to be able to do that. So we're gonna grab this pistol. So now we can do wall clips. We gotta take care of these jerks. I want my broken laser pistol back. Okay. Now if I get headshots on the rest of these guys, we'll be set. There's uh, three more guys we gotta deal with. Very good. One more guy, and we're actually gonna have three more clips here. We're gonna skip this whole area. It skips a mini boss. It skips like an escort mission. Get past the pillar. Alright. This is a different kind of clip. It's called a pillar climb. For some reason in this game, when you uh, start a clip inside a pillar, it likes to shoot you up into the ceiling. And we are trying to shoot up into the ceiling. You'll know when I get it, because you're going to see a bunch of gray everywhere. Uh, pillar climbs definitely are also huge run killers. A lot of people... Uh, We'll lose runs here. I do all the time. But that was uh, pretty qu pretty quick for what it was. And we're just going to gun walk back in bounds. This allows us to get into this area. And this room in here has all of our weapons. So we're going to get our shotgun, our, our pistol, blah, blah, blah. And then we're going to clip through this wall. That was really quick. And then we're going to do a really slow shotgun turn. Because this clip can do some scary things. Almost out. There we go. And then this clip right here is going to trigger a cutscene. Just like that. And this is actually supposed to be showing Wheeler uh, with a bunch of knives in his chest and body cavity. But we, I went ahead and gave him the med kit because I'm setting up a specific ending. Alright, so last but not least we have one clip left to go and that is the final door clip. This clip, if you get first try, uh, allows you to skip this puzzle, which takes about a minute and a half to do. Uh, like, oh my god, am I going to get this first try? That'd be sick. Nope, it's going to spit me out. Got to pull really quick. So, I'm going to be spending a little bit of time trying to get this. If I would have got that first try, that would have been insane. Oh, that's good. That's a shotgun turn. Yo, what a run, dude. This is a really good run. And just a quick reminder, we still have that bid war going for Metal Gear Solid. So if you can't know, no is still uh, going to live so far. So get those in soon. Alright, time is coming up. This is the final boss. She's a big spider uh, thing. Also, probably the main reason why this won't be a GDQ ever. Besides, uh, uh, TwitchCon. I guess it made it there. I'm a liar. And time. That was pretty good. So, we have completed our adventure through Homecoming. In, uh, what was the final time? Final time was 29.47. Whew! Ah, I love getting sub-30. That makes me feel very good. Uh, I try to aim for sub-30 in all my runs, so I'm very, very happy with that time. So, there you go. A Silent Hill game done in under 30 minutes. Who knew? So, uh, Josh uh, was inside this monster the whole time. I'm really not going to go in the exposition. If you really want to torture yourself and learn the lore behind this game feel free. Um, I'd rather you learn the speedrun and enjoy yourself because this game has 
So many good categories. All Bosses New Game Plus is a great category. It shows off everything that this game is about. Just huge clips, skipping all these huge sections. But you're also able to fight all the bosses. And there's so much, it says so much good tech. And then we have All Bosses New Game, Any Percent New Game. Well, All Bosses New Game isn't that popular. Any Percent New Game uh, definitely has a lot of runners in it. Uh, I'm going to let the ending show out because I did pick a ending I'd like to show off. Um, we're almost there. Just Pyramid Head Alex has to, you know, grieve, I guess. But I'll go ahead and shout out everybody uh, behind the scenes. Thank you guys for doing this marathon. Uh, you guys are awesome. Shout outs to the runners. Uh, this is only the first day and we've already raised a lot of money. Let's keep it going. That we have and thank you we are currently at twenty four hundred and fifty five dollars so we are just right at bounce at twenty five hundred let's see if we can end it at that number by tonight oh look at that what was coming out of that that manhole right there is a what was going on here look at that guy <laughs> it kills me every time dude so this is the good ending i picked the good ending and all of a sudden alex is like oh my leg hurts this is the uh, Pyramid Head Gets the Girl. Aw. Aw, he loves her. Except aliens show up and ruin everything. Wheeler. <laughs> well, that is not the strongest UFO ending in the Silent Hill series. When you wear that costume, it makes it mwah, beautiful. But that's it for me. I've been Starwin. Uh, stick around. We got Metal Gear Solid next. Please save. Or, or please kill Meryl so we can watch Otacon go with Snake into the sunset. So... Uh, thanks again, everybody. Uh... Silent Hill Homecoming. And that was a pretty strong horror block. We got to see AVP. We also got to see the dog ending for Silent Hill 2 and the UFO ending. So a bit of a couple of special ones. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be preparing Metal Gear Solid in just a few moments. Um, the bid war is still open, so any last-minute snipes, make sure they're going to be coming now. But... Thank you guys so much for watching so far. The support has been great, and we'll be with you guys with another run in just a few minutes. And without further ado, I'm going to be passing it to your guys' next host, Lilac R, who is going to be covering Metal Gear Solid and plenty more other excellent games. Thank you very much, Stylus. I am Lilac R, as previously mentioned. Um, yeah, so thank you very much uh, to Starwin for that awesome Silent Hill run. I I watched that run, and I spent like 90% of the time like sitting there being like, what is this thing that I'm looking at? And uh, a lot of those things were real creepy. So if you're just tuning in, this is Calithon. Um, this is a fundraiser that we are doing right now for coronavirus relief uh, in conjunction with direct relief. Um, so as Stylus mentioned actually before the previous run, um, Direct Relief, uh, now yesterday, uh, announced that uh, they will be donating $1 million to help uh, U.S. free and charitable clinics and charitable pharmacies serve their patients and protect their staffs amid the COVID-19 pandemic. This is a really awesome thing that they are doing. Uh, it's partly in due to donations like yours that are coming through this marathon. And with that in mind, uh, for the next two runs, I will donate $1 for every donation that comes in. 
regardless of how much it's for. So if you want to make me donate like four thousand dollars, just just send in a bunch of donations, and it's a good way to just you know boost that a little bit uh, and make me go broke and not be able to pay my rent. So yeah, um, so coming up next is Metal Gear Solid with one of my good buddies, Metal Glenn Solid. Um, now, if you're not aware, there is a bid war going on for this run. It is Save or Kill Meryl. Now, Save Meryl is quite a bit ahead right now. Um, it is $226.20 ahead. But if you donate the low, low, hot meme amount of $420, you will not only make Meryl die, you will save Glenn two to three minutes with the possibility of him getting world record in the run, and you will donate it to a very, very good cause, and I'll donate a dollar on top of that, so you'll get $421, so just keep that in mind. It's a good thing to remember. Um, also, uh, if you are looking for something else to donate towards, um, that is the only donation incentive for the two runs remaining overnight. However, there are a lot more dona donation incentives for the rest of the marathon, um, including Steel Battalion Controller Cam, which is going to be awesome. There's like 33 buttons, there's two cameras, it's going to be... OBS 